Hello everyone, welcome to studygun.com. So today we are going to develop a machine learning model for heart disease prediction. So we are going to predict if a person is having a likelihood to develop a heart disease or not on the basis of the risk factors like blood sugar level and cholesterol levels, smoking habits and other relevant factors. So we are going to cover this video in five different steps. That would be importing the data set, data exploration, train test split, training the model and testing the model. So let's get started. So the step one is importing the data set. So before importing the data set, we need to import the required libraries. And after that, we are going to import the data set. So we are using the read underscore CSV command of the pandas library to import this heart.csv file. So this is the file that we will be working on and will be provided to you guys in the description box. And then we are going to have a look at our data frame. So this is how our data set would be looking like. It will have the abbreviations for all the risk factors and the target column. So this is the description for our database. This database contains 14 physical features uh, based on the physical testing of a patient. And these are the 14 physical features. So basically, uh, here, uh, all the risk factors are included like resting blood pressure, serum cholesterol, fasting blood sugars, and the abbreviations for these are used in our data frame. And all these uh, columns, all these risk factors are already encoded in numerical values. And here, the most important column is the target column because our target zero uh, depicts no presence of a heart disease while a target one depicts a presence of a heart disease. So here we need to find the correlation of all the risk factors with this target column. And for that we have to move on to the next step. So the next step is data exploration. So first we need to find out how many data points, how many patients in our data set are having a heart disease and how many of them are not having a heart disease. So for that we are going to plot a count plot. Using the Seaborn library we are going to plot a count plot and x is equal to target. So basically we are going to plot a count plot for the target column and here is the plot. So we can see that the data set is highly balanced as 140 patients are not having a heart disease while 160 patients are having a heart disease. So now we can move on and see the information about our data frame. So here we can see that the data type of all the columns are in numerical value. So we can see that all the columns, all the risk factors are already encoded in our data frame. So we don't need to perform any encoding. So now we are going to find out the correlation of the target column with all the other risk factors that are all other columns of our data frame. So we are going to do that by df.correlation and the target column. And now this is the correlation of the target column with all other risk factors and all other columns of the data frame. And now we are going to plot this correlation using this line of code. And we have used a bar plot to plot this correlation. And we can see that an increase in CP chest pain can lead to a high chance of heart disease while an increase in CA can lead to a decrease in the chances of a heart disease. So now we can see that what factors, what risk factors are directly proportional to the target column and what factors are inversely proportional to our target column. So we can move to the next step that is the step 3. So the next step is train test split. So we need to define our features and label before training our model. So here our feature are x that is the entire data frame except the target column and a label are y that is the target column only. And now after that we are going to import train test split from sklearn.model selection. So train test split is basically used for splitting the data set into training data and testing data. And we have imported standard scalar from sklearn.preprocessing. So standard scalar is basically used to standardize our features before training our model. And in the next step we are going to perform the train test split and here we have used a train test split and pass in the parameter 
our features, our label, and test size is equal to 0.1. That means that 10% of our data set would be for testing the model, while 90% of the data set would be for training the model. And X train here is the feature for training. X test is basically the feature for testing. Y train is similarly the label for training, and Y test is label for testing. And after that, we have created a created an instance for the standard scaler with the name scaler. And after that, in the next line of code, we are going to standardize our training features and testing features using the standard scaler. So now we have standardized our training data, training features and testing features. Now we can train our data and move to the next step. And the next step is training the model. So what we are going to do is we are going to import logistic regression from scalar.linear model. And logistic regression is basically a machine learning algorithm that is used to perform classification task. And here you can see that it is a classic example of binary classification using logistic regression. So in our case also, we are using binary classification to find out if a patient is having a heart disease or not. So here the one, here this one depicts the category one and zero depicts the category zero. So in logistic regression, it basically plots a S curve on the training data points and it calculates a threshold value that is 0.5 here and if any new unseen data point is above this threshold value then it is classified to the category 1 and if it lies below the threshold value then it is classified as category 0. So this was the visual representation of logistic regression. Uh, let's get back to the code. So now we are going to create an instance for the logistic regression model uh, with the name model and we are going to fit this model using our training data that is scaled x train the standardized uh, features for training and y train that is the label for training and we have fitted our model so now we can move to the next step so the next step is testing the model so we are going to import the confusion matrix and the classification report from sklearn.matrix and after that we have to perform some predictions using our machine learning model so we have made some prediction with the model and with the scaled X test that is the standardized feature for testing. So we have made predictions with the testing data. And after that we are going to print the confusion matrix for the Y test and Y predictions for the testing data and the prediction using our model. So now we can see that we have correctly predicted the 12 patient with heart disease and we have correctly predicted the patient 14 patients without the heart disease and after that we are going to print the classification report and here we can see that the precision for the patients without the heart disease is 86 and recall is 80 and the precision for the patients with the heart disease is 82 and the recall is 88. So we can say that our model has performed decently. So we have made this model as simple as possible to make it more open ended for you guys. So you can manipulate this code in order to improve the performance of the model. And you can also select any other machine learning algorithm, a supervised machine learning algorithm during the model selection. So I hope you understand how to build a machine learning model for the heart disease prediction. This code will be provided to you guys in the description box. Thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you again.